Hey girls, good morning. Happy 4th of July. Sorry we're a little bit late today, but it's 4th of July. We're all sleeping in a little bit, right? So good morning, and we're on to day 22 of our summer challenge. You guys are doing great. Just keep going. Only a couple more weeks left to go, and you guys are doing phenomenal things by plugging into the Word every day and seeing what God's showing you. So for today, ladies, we've been talking about stress this week. Whether it be physical, emotional stress, it doesn't matter. What we're talking about this week is how to release that stress from your life. Because what we do know is stress is a negative emotion, a habit that we cling on to that is not healthy, that is not good for us, and that does need to change. Remember your questions from yesterday. I gave you 10 questions. Which of those 10 most resonates with where you're at today? And if you didn't catch those, good morning, Bev. Head on back and look at yesterday's recording and identify what of those 10 are you stressing out about. So let's just run them real quick because we want to keep it short. It's a holiday for y'all. But I want you in the Word. The whole point. Good morning, Kimberly. The whole point of this is to make sure that you're opening the Bible and reading the Word every single day. I don't care if it's a holiday. Pick up the Bible. God doesn't know and doesn't care that it's 4th of July and you might be barbecuing if you're here in the States. He doesn't care about that. What He cares about is your relationship with Him. So, your 10 questions you need to go to them from yesterday. So if you missed the recording yesterday or missed the live call, head back up and the it should be down, trying to think of the feet, down below us. So again, for those new to the challenge this summer, you're writing down your verse, you're circling your keywords, you're identifying what they really meant in their original format. So whether it's Hebrew or Greek, you're doing that in your Strong's Concordance or blueletterbible.org. Online, it's a free resource. And then you're going to ask God to show you what does that verse mean to you today. And what is it you need to work on? Remember our whole theme this week is stress. We all have stress in our life. So, go back to yesterday's recording. Identify one of those ten spots, or maybe you're all ten of them. I don't know. But go to God with that. And then your verse for today, ladies. Verses, sorry. This one's a little bit longer, but it's a holiday. So, most of us are kicking back today. So, we have a little more time to spend in God's Word. Okay, ready? And there's never, please understand, you can never say that's too much time. Because God wants everything from us. So we've got to stop stressing about our list and start focusing on Him so that the list is no longer stressful. Okay, ready? Write this down. You're looking at Psalm chapter 63, verses 6 to 8. Yes, I've got two verses, 6, 7, and 8, 3. Three verses for you, but it's short, it's quick. You know in the Psalms, they're quick blurts of, of Scripture that's short and sweet. So let's look at that. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. This verse has got so much content in it, these verses. If we're looking at stress in our life and we're looking at getting that list done on our own and we're relying on ourselves, Because according to this scripture here, it says that God is our help. In his wings, we can sing for joy. If we're not in his wings, lady, we don't have joy. We may have momentary happiness. And remember with happiness is something based on our external circumstances. Joy is something internally. We could be going through hell. Sorry. That's what it is sometimes. But we still have the joy of the Lord. Because our joy is not something that our circumstances can steal. You get that? Our joy is not something our circumstances can steal. If you have surrendered to Christ and you know Him as your Lord and Savior, that joy is yours. We just forget we have it. And then it says, my soul clings to you, and your right hand, God, upholds me. So we need to stop stressing, girls. Because when we stress, we can see it in our faces, in our skin, our hair texture, our body. 
We can feel the aches. We can feel the pains. We find ourselves getting sick all the time. Go back to yesterday. Look at those 10 items. What are you stressing about today? Take that to God. Take a look at Psalm 63, verses 6 to 8, and see what he shows you today through that. This set of verses for today is powerful. If we can grab on to this concept, our stress will be eliminated. But you've got to want to do it. And I know I wanted to, and I did, and it's amazing. I actually don't wear makeup because my skin is so much better when I let go of all the stress in my life. Now, that doesn't mean that stress doesn't come. I have stress every now and then come in, but I know how to handle it because God's Word has told me how. Heavenly Father, I just lift these ladies up today on this beautiful 4th of July as we celebrate our freedom in this country, our independence that so many lost their lives for. Father, may we remember them and be grateful for this freedom that we have. And as these ladies are looking at these verses today, Father, I just pray that you will empower them to identify what area in their life they're stressing about and what they need to release to you. May they each find comfort and peace and joy in your wings of safety. May they be lifted up and just edified by you, Father. In your precious name, I pray. All right, girls, great verses. Make sure you write them down. Pick your keywords. Look up the words in the Strong's or BlueLetterBible.org blue and then ask God to show you what He is telling you today. Write it down in your journal. Let's track what He's doing through this week of stress that we're talking about. And what a beautiful time just before we head into the holidays, we are addressing stress. How awesome is that? God's timing is perfect, girls. Also, don't forget, up above there's a pinned post. Do not forget... Rise starts July 10th. A couple of you ladies are already in the group, and I'm excited. We're going to be getting you everything here this week, and we're going to get this thing launching. Rise is all about mentoring and discipling you, meeting your needs, helping you grow, and being a little more hands-on with you than a quick blurb in the morning. All right? So I hope to see you girls in there. It's a minimal fee, and why is there a fee to it? Because we believe that if you don't put skin in the game, you actually won't show up. This is about transforming you and making you a woman of God that thrives every single day. And I'm excited about it. I wanted to do it now, but I've got to wait. God's timing's perfect, right? All right, girls, have a blessed 4th of July. Be safe if you're launching fireworks today, but enjoy your family and plug into them, love on them, but don't forget to get in the Word. Do not forget that, all right? We'll catch you girls tomorrow with your next verse on stress. Have a blessed day. I love you girls. Bye.